In this video, I'm gonna help you pass Security Plus. Hey gang, it's Ron from ITMagicKey.com and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So if it's your first time seeing me, hey, welcome, thanks for joining. Once again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Secondly, let's talk about Security Plus. So Security Plus is a CompTIA certification. CompTIA is a vendor that is one of the most, if not the most, popular IT certification vendor. Most IT pros have at least one certification from CompTIA. So the CompTIA Security Plus is a cyber security focus exam. So the exam is not easy. The exam is not easy at all. And hopefully these questions and answers and this breakdown I'm about to give you helps you pass the exam. So on most of the exams, you get 90 questions and you have to complete those 90 questions in 90 minutes. You will get a myriad of question types. You will get some drag and drop. You may get some fill in the blank. You may get some practical exercises. You may get some simulations all wrapped up in one. 90 questions, 90 minutes. So if you've never done this with me before, what happens is I give you the question, give you some time to look it over to see if you can answer the question yourself. And then we come back and we explain it and break it down as a family. You ready? Let's go. Hopefully you guys got smishing. So smishing is a form of phishing that is specifically used to target mobile phones and mobile devices. Smishing is a form of phishing in which an attacker uses a compelling text message to trick targeted recipients into clicking a link and sending the attacker private information or downloading malicious programs to a smartphone. So farming is a little bit different from fishing. So instead of using clickbait or something that somebody wants to actually engage with or click on or do something with, it actually goes directly to the DNS server. So anybody that connects to that DNS server that the farming attack is going on, it's actually gonna get redirected to whatever the attacker wants it to go to. Farming is a form of online fraud involving malicious code and fraudulent websites. Cyber criminals install malicious code on your computer or server. The code automatically directs you to bogus websites without your knowledge or consent. So password spraying is literally when you're trying to crack a account, crack a device, so on and so forth. So this may sound like it's familiar to a brute force attack, but the difference with a brute force attack is that on this type of attack, it actually uses different usernames with the same password. Okay, so let's see if 123ABC is with Frank. Nope, let's try it on Jan. Nope, let's try it on Jill, so on and so forth. A password spraying attack is a type of attack where a hacker, much like the name implies, sprays an authentication server with combinations of usernames and common passwords. Attackers often run through lists of commonly used passwords available on the web. So a gray hat falls in between a white hat and a black hat. So with a gray hat hacker, they usually are doing good stuff, but to get their mission completed, to get things ironed out, to get things fixed, they're willing to do things that are illegal or malicious. 
And gray hat hackers operate somewhere between the extremes of their black hat and white hat counterparts. They don't necessarily want to cause pain or steal from their victims, but they often hack into their target's networks to look for vulnerabilities in the system without the owner's permission or knowledge. And if they find these vulnerabilities, they may exploit them. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with two people. I don't know what the hell I'm holding up three. Share it with two people who can benefit from it. Also, let me know in the comments, when are you taking the exam? If you already taken the exam, let me know if you pass or if you failed. So let's go ahead and keep each other motivated. Go ahead and keep people going in the comments. Let's see your wins and also some losses as well. And just come up with tips, tricks, advice. How do we actually bounce back from losses? Because in your certification journey, you're going to fail. It's inevitable. You will fail, but you're not a failure unless you quit. So mean time between failure is the calculation of when will a device fail during normal operation hours? How often will it fail? How often will it break? How often will it be down during normal operating hours? If it's nine to five, when will this thing break? When will this thing actually blow uh, all right, gang, do me one favor. Make sure that you watch my last video. It should be popping up somewhere that's going to help you level up in IT. I also hope this video right here helped you and gave you more clarity when it comes to Security Plus. If it didn't, oh well, it's free. I tried. Other than that, I'll see you in class.